Hi Gemini. So this video is going to be for August, Sun, Moon or Rising, Gemini. Now Gemini, what an interesting year. We had a Venus retrograde in Gemini, which only happens every 18 months. But not always in Gemini, just that this year it's been in Gemini. So Venus is a planet of love, our heart space. It also deals with our finances. So a lot of you having to basically reroute here when it comes to your relationships. How do you handle your relationships? What do you want in your relationships and not settling for less than you deserve? So with that Venus retrograde, it was really showing you your heart of what you truly want. Right, so now Venus retrograde is all done dusted, but we have the North Node in Gemini, which is going to be happening all the way till 2022. Interesting, North Node Gemini is about your destiny, Gemini. What destiny do you need to answer? What's calling to you? What inspiration? What drives you? What motivates you? During the North Node, and especially when the North Node's in your particular zodiac, it's a lot about having eclipses basically getting you to clear out eclipses in your relationships, your work situations, and overall change, a change of you and who you are in order to proceed with what you truly want. And actually peeling back those layers that you no longer want to have around you, layers of doubt, insecurity, relationships that bring that people around you, shifting it completely. And it's so important that you do this. It's of absolute importance for you to let go of what you no longer need so that you can embrace all the new opportunities and blessings that are coming to you. So now on the 3rd of August, we're going to be having the full moon. And the full moon is going to be in your ninth house. Your ninth house is about higher education. What are you learning? What is inspiring you? What is it that you are changing about your belief systems? The full moon is about releasing and bringing light to new belief systems and letting go of old belief systems. So it's really going to feel like you're changing in a big way of how you think about things, what you used to value, what you don't value no more in a sense of your beliefs. So if you find yourself shifting in this way, thinking in this way and moving in this direction, allow it. Don't resist it. Let yourself be open <laughs> to new experiences. So on the 5th of August, we're going to have Mercury joining the sun. And then on the 18th, 19th of August, we're going to have the new moon as well, which is going to be in your third house again of information and learning. Now, with Mercury in the sun, it's all about information, seeing new information, connecting, connecting, networking, communication, creativity, new ideas, implementing new ideas with the new moon it offers you new blessings, new opportunities with your learning and information, networking and connection to others. So that's a beautiful thing that's happening there about how you connect, how you spread your word, allowing for that information to come through, writing, teaching, inspiring, really beautiful time for Gemini. I feel like this energy, especially in August, is really with you, right? It really is with you with this communication, learning, gathering information, because that's your talent. That's your talent of your leadership qualities and how you lead and how you share a message. Then on the 8th of August, we're going to have Venus moving into your second house of finance, which is a beautiful thing because Venus in the second house actually encourages you to splurge a little, but also offers you new prosperity, so money coming in and also new ideas to implement for money as well. So that's very good for you, very beautiful energy as well. Then we're going to have on the 20th, Mercury um, moving into your fourth house as well. On the 23rd, Mercury, uh, the sun, the sun in your fourth house of family matters. The fourth house rules family matters. So with Mercury, their communication with family and those that you hold dear to your heart. So are not of relation to you, but are in your heart space, who we consider soul family and new connections as well. And then you also have the sun and Mercury there, Mercury with the communication, the sun bringing light to how you actually feel, inspiration when it comes to family and home. What new movements, moving home, shifting things within your home, all of that beautiful energy. Then for the next couple of months, we're going to have Mars. Mars will be in your 11th house, Gemini. Now Mars is an, a planet that encourages us to take action, passion, and just really brave it out. But yours is in your 11th house of networking, but in a big way. The 11th house is kind of like leadership, 
what new ideas that you want to bring together to share with the world at large. Do you see the theme here? Communication, networking, allowing your creativity, allowing all, the, all that artistic talent to shine through, to push through, to innovate. I mean, the 11th house is all about original ideas. And you have a love ideas. And sometimes what happens is so much is going on in your mind that your body just can't shut down and you can become really exhausted. But all of this energy is pushing you. It's really motivating you. And it's all to do and ties in beautifully with the not note in Gemini that's going to be here till January. I mean, yeah, till January 2022. So that's a long time. And I suggest you use it and make it beneficial for you. Let go of the things that no longer serve you and welcome all the things that do. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe to my YouTube channel, tag people. And I want to thank everyone who um, basically watches and takes my readings, my astrology readings by email. Thank you.